carnival um, uh, forum is made up of uh, over 25 individuals and groups from across the various um, sectors, from schools to individuals, the voluntary sector, um, the local authority, so many individuals who has invested so many hours um, just really just wanting to see this big day come together uh, around just celebrating Woolwich. It's been a great joy to see how it's grown over the years from um, the position two or three years ago where we had maybe eight or nine community organisations and schools involved through to last year where we had more than 20. We have artists coming into school um, doing either drumming and dancing or costume making or all three of those and then we kind of start to encourage the whole school to be excited about carnival, we have assemblies, um, the children uh, get really excited about the workshops and they really enjoy the workshops and then over the years we've had more and more of the children actually turning up on the day. The carnival does it, it does, it does capture who are the individuals who live in this, this community and it's really awesome to see when everyone comes together because we all go off in different directions but just on that day it's just everyone coming and celebrating. My primary role is really to panic about whether or not we have enough money to run the event, to run the workshops, to um, engage our arts partners. We, we rely a great deal on the contribution of the, con of the community organisations that you, you talk about. Um, in, in particular those organisations that give their time and their effort for nothing or for next to nothing. We rely heavily on the coordination that the um, uh, GLIPS team are able to provide and, and help mm. us with. And also to some of the, the local companies who are based there. Yep. Um, I think there's a Lovewell and um, Barclays Lo Home. Lovewell and Barclays, that's Barclays right. Barclays yep. Home, yep. who yep. is really, um, without their input, you know, um, it, we, would, we would struggle we, to... We, we would yeah. have struggled last yes. year. I'm Marvin, I'm a local recording artist and a youth and community worker. The Stage and Music programme has really developed over the last three years. So the first year we just did it all as like one, as, as one thing. But then we quickly realised that what was needed was like a separate focus programme. And so for the second year, we put a young musicians programme together. It will be specifically targeted and, and made time and space for young people to be able to give them individual support. I'm blown away by the, not just the talent, but the enthusiasm and the, um, the energy, I think. I think just seeing them enjoy themselves on the day um, and really, you know, feeling uh, like we're really celebrating ourselves as a community because if you if you have a community that's always being told that it's you know not a good place that's quite damaging for those children so to know that your community you come from is celebrated because people feel that it's got value then that's really good for their kind of self-esteem I think for me grassroots the community is everything okay. and um, and to see the real Woolwich community you have to be working at, at, at that level so you know sitting around the table where we see um, um, London South East College yep. we see the different schools yep. um, we see Taru Arts EEA and then we have in we have Woolwich Common community we have Dockyard yep. one, one of the things I love about the carnival is 
that, that part where different communities do their own thing. So yes, we have the group that are sitting around the table and coordinating and planning and everything, mm. but then there's the communities that are planning their own special, unique contribution to the mm. carnival, mm. and they're doing it out of our sight. Mm. And then on the day, they appear with something that's a complete surprise to us. Yeah. And that's, that's really magical.